Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I have one of these Contour, 95 to 2000 Contour fans. Uh, it's really common, popular swap on the Fox bodies. Also works on 94 to 96. Uh, if you relocate or delete the ABS. Uh, these dual 12 inch fans, it's, it's First thing I see is it covers the whole radiator. It's 100% coverage, and there'll be very little as far as dead spots. It's gonna, it's gonna reach out a couple inches. Not, not much loss there. Uh, so it, if you're using it on the 9495, I think you can factor in the shroud coverage in addition to the uh, CFMs. The contours uh, float or cross flow tanks on the right and left from left to right. So the fan is is optimum for those because the tank's going to fill, but it's going to come in from the top and flow that way. It's 79 later Mustangs are cross flow also, but they flow from right to left. So that's not perfect, but I don't think it amounts to anything. Let's start it up and let's see what we get. That one's, uh, I'll, I'll call it 1500. Uh, of course, you multiply that times two. The inrush amps on that were about 10 or 11. The run amps were seven something. You multiply that times two also. So These fans are up for the money are, are really going to be hard to beat. The uh, I tested some of the others. The fin fans just don't don't do it all. They they rate them good, but they uh, they drop off. The motors are so small they drop off so fast. It's just not not worth using them unless maybe you know possibly have a a thin stock radiator or using them on some uh, on on just a condenser or or something really thin transmission cooler. If these are totaling out in about 3,000 with 95% coverage over the radiator, which is small core anyway, it's 24 by 16. You can't put much of a bigger fan. Uh, if, if you went to a, a little bit larger, a little bit longer radiator, wider, uh, you could maybe fit in a couple of 14s or like a, a Camaros and uh, Charger Challengers use those pick it up pretty quick, but none of these are. Uh, there is one really high grade fan, Delta PAG Delta PAG, but those are about 400 each without a shroud, so it's a, a lot of money to gain a few more hundred CFMs. Yeah, any of these fans, the, the thick radiators are going to kill them. They just they. They can't do it. Um, they, they'll flow good at zero pressure. You, you can look up s static pressure uh, drop with the spile or spile, however it's said. And I, I'm reading this one, but like I say, you can look it up. 
this particular fan is flowing 1446 at zero static pressure and by one by a half inch of static pressure it drops to 750 and one inch static pressure it's down to 446 uh 1.2 inches it's down to zero so that's just fading right out so uh a two row radiator with one inch or one and a quarter inch tubes will, will be thin uh something like cold case fluid iron those are going to be in the 400 dollar up range uh, th those would do a good job it'll flow through those uh these store brand stuff and w w you know whatever they just call it a uh call it a three row but it's thick and it's dense and these fans are really none of the rest of them are going to pull good through those those radiators work fine when you're doing 70 mile an hour down the interstate because that air will go through but when you're idling in traffic the stick radiators are just going to pull the fans down <clears throat> it's hard for these it's hard for any of these fans uh i can switch over to that and test it too but they don't produce but seven eight miles an hour wind speed the very best you're going to get will be 15 miles an hour wind speed that's not a good way to judge a fan but it's you can use it for comparison just a thick will kill it and i, I also say I, I, we're not trying to keep these cars down to 180 we just don't want them passing one passing 230 uh, in, in extreme conditions it's going to take above 250 to hurt something in most cases but the condensation that's produced from combustion you see a lot of it go out the tailpipe but also a lot of it goes into the oil and it needs to reach a temperature to boil that off or it'll create a ton of sludge in the pan, in the bottom of the oil pan a gray sludge eventually it's, uh, be picked up by the oil pump and clog up oil passages and I, I feel like that's one reason that uh, cars back in the 60s and 70s engines did the same similar engines 302s didn't last very long Un unusual to see a hundred thousand miles but they, they ran those cooler but you know Ford intended these things to run 215 220 right around there so uh, not not hurting anything but I, it bothers me just as much as it does anybody else. I don't want to see them going up. I get worried too, but you know, you got to take it for what it is. But I, I hope there's some information there that helps someone. Any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll get something else together. Thanks.